Hey, this is Cameron. Welcome back to the Busy Gardener channel. Today, I am going to be building a support for this thing that appeared in our orchard. These bananas, they need help. I'm gonna help them. Let's get busy. Wow, guys, look at these bananas, how they're growing up here. Bananas are one of those things that, you know, you have them since you're a kid. They're not even this exotic thing. Everybody eats them. And yet seeing some grow in my yard is just a very foreign thing. You know, it's, it's very different than the usual go and pick a pear off of a, well, not a pear, because you have to let those cool, but you get what I'm saying, pick an apple or a peach or a nectarine and just take a bite out of it. Um, it's wild to see how this banana plant in just a single year, I think I planted this last year, what was it, last June or last May, like a year ago, already has this banana, this fruiting pot on it. And it's um, really fascinating to learn how these plants work. Kind of a little interesting thing, these things are, this. a banana plant is not a tree. It's a plant that has plant tissue, um, it uses, it has a thing called a pseudo stem, which is essentially just a wrapped bunch of leaves. And those leaves push out of the center and emerge. And you can tell uh, that by looking at this little transplant over here, which is doing awesome, by the way. I thought I killed it. It just got a little stressed, but it's doing awesome. It's growing. And so you see how these uh, leaves are coming out of the middle. Well, something that happens when the plant, the banana plant is developing is it's starting at the base of the plant and forcing its way up through the middle of the, tr of the tree, I keep calling it a tree, up through the plant, is this flower spike. And it pops out through the top and hangs over the side like this. And that spike, so that spike is connected all the way down the entire plant. And what happens is at first on these type of bananas, these are the female leaves or sorry, flowers that form. Some of those are already got turned brown at the tops, but um, so the, the female flowers are the ones that turn into the fruit and they don't get pollinated. And then what happens is the male flowers emerge after that and those are gonna form something that goes all the way down and those are not going to fruit. And so this is a very exciting thing to do. Now, something there's a problem here and you can probably see it if I back up is that thing is leaning. And look where the banana pot is. I am so concerned that that thing is just gonna fall over and smash my avocado, my Pinkerton avocado, which has been so hard fought, as you know. And so something that people have been suggesting online and something that is very common in commercial groves or orchards or whatever you call banana plantations, <gasps> I think, is taking and propping that flower up and that fruiting bunch up so that way the plant has the support that it needs. Now, I'm gonna build something like that today. I looked online, the, it takes a very rudimentary structure to be able to do it. I want something that can be reusable, can be a little bit adjustable, and so something I'm gonna use is two inch PVC pipe. Is it two inch or two and a half inch? Now I'm a little confused, I think it's two inch. And so I'm gonna get started on that. Um, I'm gonna talk through what I'm using, how it's gonna work and how it's gonna hold it up. All right, let's check it out. Wow, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't help but show you what's going on here with these pomegranates. It's just blowing my mind. Maybe I'd do a bigger video on these pomegranates, but this is our Parfianca pomegranate tree. And this little small tree has probably, if I were gonna guess, probably has 50 fruit on it. None of them have split. They all look decent size right now. Next to it is the wonderful pomegranate. And the wonderful is doing really, really well as well. Tons and tons of fruit. Loaded, blowing my mind, very cool. All right, back to this banana thing. Okay, using this two inch PVC pipe is gonna create a very rigid structure. Uh, the reason I went for the two inch kind is because this is far more rigid than one and a half inch and certainly the smaller the pipe, the more flexible it is. We need this to be able to hang on to some weight and so I opted for the two inch. And so in short, what I'm gonna be doing is creating a little basket for this thing to hang in. I'm using a 90 degree elbow that's gonna go into this 45 degree elbow. So I need to cut off a piece of pipe and then this is gonna go down like this. So imagine another pipe coming down out of here 
and then the, the stem is gonna go right through this 45 degree angle. So what I'm gonna do with my two inch pipe is off of each of them, I'm gonna cut off, I don't know, maybe seven, eight inches of pipe. And I'm gonna just stick it in here and that's gonna create our structure. So I'm gonna get cutting. What we're doing here is taking this, angling this in here, angling this like this, angling this like this, angling this like this, and then putting the other pipe in here. And here we go. This is what we're gonna use. So that stem's gonna go right down the middle here. So now I'm gonna put this up against here and see what it looks like as it's holding up the banana. So the first step here is gonna to be to kind of figure out where it is and so I'm gonna line it up and then I'm gonna pull this toward it and that's gonna start pushing the tree up or the plant up. So I'm not actually trying to prop up the, uh, the, the stem or even these leaves. I really wanna get on the other side of these leaves and be propping up the banana stalk itself, the stalk that is holding the, the fruit. Well, I don't know what to think about this. It's not even quite tall enough to do that. I've got probably another foot before the banana stem touches this. I'm worried that this thing's just gonna fall straight over. Now, that being said, as the banana gets heavier and that stalk comes further down, it's probably gonna be sitting in there, but I don't know what to do. I almost needed those extra eight inches. Oh my goodness. Uh, something that I bought that I was considering using on this. I don't really want to see that shock bright white of this PVC on there. So I got some of this gray. Um, I didn't have any primer, but something that was like a satin gray, something that would just kind of help it to mesh in and blend in a little bit. So I'm gonna see what this looks like. I would start with the top and work my way down because the top is gonna be the most visible from everywhere. So we're gonna shake these here. Start shaking this, Evan. Well, so we actually shouldn't be spraying this right now. Look how windy it is. How you know, where do you think all the spray is gonna go when we blow it, when we spray it? How about we just spray it this way, not that way, because that's the blow, that's Here, it's kinda... Yeah, that's actually nice. That gray, I don't know if you can see that on there. Oh no, it's going, <laughs> this paint's, we really should just go put this down on the ground and spray it there so that way it's not, the paint isn't going and getting on the uh, avocados. Yeah. We're gonna go probably need to build this a little bit taller. Um, I wish there was a way to more easily, I wonder if there's a way to do that with wood. This two inch hole saw. Come on, I was using a two and a half inch thing instead of a two and a quarter or a two inch. <laughs> Pay attention, man. All right, well, we're back up here again, finishing off these banana supports. And we were trying to do all sorts of, use other stuff. I was trying to use stuff that I had on hand, like I was using this wood and drilling this hole to create kind of a little stand for it. But this was a pain, it wasn't holding. And so I finally buckled and just went out and bought another 10 foot of this two inch pipe. So we're going to, uh, that and a couple of couplers, we're going to attach that on and then we're going to get the height that we need. And that'll be good because then I can just keep this, um, keep this part not glued in. So if we need any extra height or we need to reduce the height down the road for future ones, we'll be able to do it. <clears throat> so with this, I'm noticing you want to go taller than the actual height because you're going to want it at an angle and because it's a diagonal it's going to be a longer um a longer distance so if you need it you know if the banana is 10 feet tall you want it maybe 12 13 whatever because you can always tip it further down but you you don't want it standing straight upright because that's not going to provide a lot of shoring support all right let's finish this up
Okay, well this feels really good. If you can see the angle of this tree, or this plant, it's not a tree, is totally propped up. You can see that it's more upright than it was. And this is looking really good. I feel really happy about how sturdy this is, how it's holding that banana, uh, the pod, little bunch of bananas up there. As those get heavier, it's gonna be that much more important to keep that weight supported. This episode has been about building this structure up here to keep those, those banana plant happy up there, supported. And so, um, yeah, appreciate you tuning into this episode of The Busy Gardener. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, now would be a great time to do that. Hit that button, hit the little notification bell. Evan, you know what happens with the notification bell? It notifies them and lets them know that there's a video coming up that got posted. And hit that like button, because that makes me and us feel oh so good. Well, whether you've got one banana growing up in your orchard or 500, until next time, stay, stay busy. busy.